Hello friends, today we will see required data annotation attribute in MVC3 Razor. Now the required data annotation attribute is used to validate the user input. The required attribute validates whether the user has specified the value from the property or not. And the required data annotation attribute lies in system.component.model.dataAnnotation namespace. Now suppose consider a scenario where you have a form and you have some fields in the form which is mandatory to answer then you can use required data annotation attribute to validate whether user has provided values for the for those property or not so let's see through application how we can achieve this now we have a controller and here we have a required demo action method which renders a view and we have another required demo action result method which is of type post and this when the form is posted we are accepting a parameter of the parameter of type view model that is register view model which is our view model now in this view model we have five properties which we are going to render on UI and which will be form properties and this is basically our view we have created a form using begin form helper and we are rendering the controls for all our properties of view model using editor for model helper HTML helper and here we have referenced the register view model using at the rate model keyword now let's run the application and see now my form is rendered now when I submit the form nothing appears uh, there is no validation applied currently so now if I put debugger here and I submit the form again now you can see in the model I will get everything as null because I have not specified anything for any property so in this case the model state is valid and it doesn't have any error so it doesn't show errors on the UI as well so now suddenly I decide I want my first name to be mandatory to for user to answer so what I'll do I'll use require attribute now I again run the application now if I submit the form it gives me it gives me the error the first name field is required so I'll put the debugger again and I resubmit the form again the model comes out to be null but in this case as we have applied required attribute to the first name property the model state comes comes out to be invalid and it passes the model object with error messages to the view and we are able to see the first name field is required error message on the UI so this is how the required attribute works and for in order to use a data annotation attribute we need to reference the namespace that is system dot component model dot data annotations and now the error message displayed on the UI is a default error message and it uses the name of the property that is first name and it displays a default error message that is the first name field is required now if I want to custom customize the error message so we have privilege to do so we can use error message property of required data annotation attribute and we can specify our own error message we can say I I put error first name is mandatory to answer so now if I build the application and run the application and I submit the form so this again the model state comes out to be invalid and it says first name is mandatory to answer now it's showing the error message which we have specified in the view model so by this way we can use required data annotation attribute and we can give our own error message as well so this is how required data annotation attribute is used to validate user input thank you friends